Bonjour, hello, good morning. 11 o'clock in the morning, Friday the 20th of November. We live in troubled times, as if I need to, <laughs> need to tell you that. How's that going to affect what's going on here with me? I've always got a bit of anxiety as to the winter season, like most people that, that are around these parts that are in this uh, industry, this uh, situation. But one thing is uh, that I've been watching over the last few weeks is that despite the lockdown, they have continued doing all the little jobs and things. I'm looking at stuff getting done to chalets, to uh, apartments, to shops, even new restaurants getting built, which I've done a video on as well. And there'll be more to go as I see that progressing, although that seems to have slowed down. But one sure fire. <laughs> signal that they are intending an opening in uh, December next month uh, is the snow machines are running. So there's two types of snow machines that are running here. I'm about to just uh, do a video on that but this is a good sign. Now this one's a snow pistol requires round about minus two to minus five or, or less to, to work. It's just actually shutting down just as I'm videoing this. But you can see the, the snow that's been made. And there's a lot of people that don't uh, aren't familiar with the Alps stuff won't be aware that we actually do make an awful lot of snow. Now this is the first type as I say, it's a snow pistol. Basically it's a pumped system up and down the mountain that pumps out a really, really fine mist of uh, high pressure water that by the time it's actually leaving the nozzle, a few inches away from the nozzle it's actually formed this sort of snow spray. Now there's the other type which is a snow cannon uh, which uses a similar method but it's uh, slightly more prepared with uh, injections of ozone and this, it's more along the lines of a jet engine than anything. Let's go and have a look at one of them. Now you can see just ahead of me here, just to the right on the path, oh, <laughs> just a little bit of snow residue that's been created by this cannon here. Now this cannon is slightly lower down than the next one, so it's just shut off about 2-3 minutes ago, just as I got the camera out. But you can see it's just starting, and this will actually turn into a huge mound of snow. Uh, and they, what they do is, they spread it up and down the pistes, which gives the piece a good fine base for the natural snow to fall on. And you can see the effect up here, the top one, that one's still going. Creates quite, quite, a, quite a lot, really. Now these are running up and down the mountain all over the place. I think I can just catch a piece of mist from up the top there. So there is, there's machines running just the other side of that ridge as well. You can see the mist, I think, that's coming off of that. That is zoomed right in as well. But yeah, they're all over the, the mountain. They're running, uh, some of them will be, it'll be too warm now with the sun coming up. Some of them are in sort of valleys and shadows and they'll still be running. And of course they can spread the, the, the snow about all over the place. They're not just like produce it there and they can run it up and down here. They can take snow from here and put it anywhere on the mountain. Quite a lot of work's going on. Apartments getting done up, people around working, whatever. You can see down there a few vehicles and whatnot. So there's quite a lot going on in general. If I can just get myself to that side of the post. Oops, lean it over. One of the sandwich shops, which is, I don't know if it's getting redone or whatever, but quite a bit going on down there. Quite a lot up the mountain, as I say. Soon I'll be able to get up there and see what they're doing with the, with the restaurant, which we can just see through the trees if I can find it. There we go. That's at the top of the Peak Vert restaurant. A little bit of snow at the side, another machine that's created that. And we've got another one going in slightly nearer to home here. Just the other side of the button toe lift and chair lift, the old original chair lift were up here. And just at the back there, new restaurant, Sandwichery it's called. So let's go and check out these snow machines. So just heading up, have we look at this. We've not had much weather as such this last couple of weeks. A few storms and stuff beforehand. But as you can see behind, we're kind of bare of snow this time last year. We had quite a lot this week, 
but uh, behind us, yeah, it's only th these are just switched on. It's the first time, but this will transform to be a, a huge mound of snow. Now, as I say, temperature minus two to minus five for these to activate, and uh, temperature just now is actually one. And at six this morning, the temperature was minus six. So we're getting into winter temperatures. They're preparing stuff. This is the very, very beginning of it. And this guy's just switched off. And this is one of the snow pistols with all its mechanism, pump, supplies, and everything at the bottom. You can see just on this track down, it is actually a drivable track. But in winter it's a snow piste. Ski piste. Now these things don't produce snow like natural snow. It's much more sort of crystalline, watery. You do notice the difference when you ski on it. But as I say, it's not the best snow for the actual skiing, but it's a really good snow that forms the base of these pieces. They'll spread this. When it snows, the snow doesn't have to do a bit of melting first and then build. It goes straight on top of the, the snow, the man-made snow on the piece. And uh, it just goes to make the, the piece preparations a lot, uh, a lot better. The snow conditions better. Just while I'm up here, quick view check, beautiful clear day. Part of the Zekran, no puffy clouds today, just a bit of snow on some of the peaks, and yeah, let's go right over and see what it's like up there. These are really high, these are up over the 3,000 meter mark. So, just up the top of the, the button toe there. Nice sunshine coming up nicely, just come around here and uh, well, really, this is the new sandwichery restaurant that they started building together with its, uh, its notice as it were, all the information on there and uh, right next to it I'm standing at the side of this piece and we've got these, uh, this snow cannon. Now you can see the, the supply pipe, the supply wire and whatnot. quite an impressive piece of kit and all controlled automatically but there is Wi-Fi connections to the station central control and this thing pumps out an awful lot of snow when it needs to. There's uh, a few of these around, I think there's 50 of them up in this resort scattered around the mountain. And just at the side of all this little stream but already freezing up So I'm just up at the compound for all the snow making and stuff and we've got all the machines all prepared, piece bashing machines. I'll put a link up in the top right of your screen now for you to see what these things are about and really impressive machines. Uh, huge big V8 diesels, something like 700 horsepower and 2000 newton meters of torques, an awful lot. So oh, it's going fast. Off to work, or lunch at this time, I suppose. So there we are, standing on snow. <laughs> Not real snow, but better than nothing. Anyway, just a little video on uh, the, the the preparations, and it does look like that we are going ahead for a winter. They wouldn't be doing all this if we weren't. So good news for the continuity of my life, as it were. Okay, that's uh, just a little video today, pre-season, hopefully, and uh, and that's it. So thanks very much for watching. Remember, subscribe down there. When you have done, click on the alert bell for notifications of further uploads from Max Mountain World. Make comments, click on the thumbs up, the thumbs down, all the feedback much much appreciated more to the point share this with people share it with everyone get me subscribers that's basically it so until the next time ciao